Hey guys, Jessica here, the Furry Family Coach, and we are continuing the beginner dog training series today with coming when called, or recall as we dog trainers like to call it. So again, this is a continuation of the beginner dog training series. If you have not started from the beginning, I highly recommend you do so. There is a reason why these were filmed in a certain order. The link to the playlist is in the description below, so I definitely recommend that you start from the beginning and work your way back to this video. But getting your dog to come to you when you call them is a critical skill. It can be a life saving cue for you to teach your dog. Kim, come here, baby. Come here. Come on, little bug. Ah, oh, yeah, just my good girl. Here's my good girl. I love you. Oh, I love you. And thank you for coming to me when I called you. Mwah. All right, so <laughs> that was very good timing, huh? Really quickly before we get started, if you are new here, my name is Jessica. I'm the Frey Family Coach. I am a pet parent coach and positive reinforcement dog trainer. And on this channel, we talk about all things dog training, dog behavior, canine enrichment, canine nutrition, and every once in a while, I do throw in something for those cat lovers because I am a pet parent coach after all. If any of that is up your alley, go ahead and click that subscribe button if you haven't already. If you're already a subscriber, thank you for returning. I really appreciate each and every one of you. Uh, again, if you are not already a subscriber, click that red button down there. When you do, a bell will appear. Click the bell, select all notifications. That way YouTube can notify you every time I post a new video and that means you'll never miss another video. So getting your dog to come when you call them or recall, and I will probably say recall a lot through the video. So that is what I mean when I say recall. It is getting your dog to come to you when you call them. Again, this is a critical skill for your dog to have. And I actually have an entire course dedicated to teaching your dog to come when called. I will put a link to that course in the description below because while I can give you a lot of information in this YouTube video, there are so many intricacies to it that I really highly recommend that you check out the recall course. Um, it is included in my complete online dog training course if you choose to go that route for the, uh, the the monthly option for being a member of the Furry Family Coach or you can just buy the standalone course and the reason why I created this as a standalone course and it is very inexpensive guys I cannot even believe how inexpensive this particular course is I think I'm a little bit out of my mind but it's such a critical skill and I taught it in a way that no matter what level you're at, whether you are just starting out with your dog, whether you've had your dog for six years, whether you fancy yourself uh, good at training dogs to begin with, whether you are a complete beginner, you can start with this one standalone course and accomplish your goal of getting your dog to come when called no matter where you are. So I definitely highly recommend that you do check out that course, but in this video, I am gonna give you a pretty good overview of what it is going to take, uh, what to do to teach your dog to come when called or recall as I like to call it. So there are two keys, two, two keys to getting your dog to come to you when you call them. The first is going to be using a long line in training. And I'll get to that in just a moment. If you don't know what a long line is, hang in there with me. The second key, and this is the big one, right? The, the other one really is just a tool that you definitely need to use. But the, 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 big, the big part of this picture is that you have to be, you have to become the most interesting thing in your dog's environment. So there is some groundwork in getting your dog to learn to come to you when you call them. And we will always start no matter what we're doing, we're gonna start training inside of your home because this is the most comfortable place for both you and your dog. That's the key here. Your dog is going to be the most comfortable place for them to begin to learn something. 
adding in too many distractions, too many, oh, but this, oh, but that going on is not really conducive to a learning environment for children, for dogs, for cats, for you, right? If you, if your mind is preoccupied and going in a ton of different places, especially when it's just things in your environment that you can control and you can remove from the environment so that you can focus, that's what we want to do. So starting in your home and laying the groundwork is going to be one of the best things you can do for anything that you train with your dog, but especially in coming when called because this is not a very natural thing for your dog to do. And what we're going to do is use high value rewards. And this can be different for different dogs. For many dogs, this is going to be high value treats. Maybe there is, it's going to be just maybe boiled chicken, maybe some deli meat, whatever your dog really loves. This is what we're going to use. And this is something that that you may normally reserve for these hurdles that you're trying to get over with your dog. You're training with your dog and you're training and you're, you keep plateauing. You can't get up. You can't get up and over a certain hurdle. So you pull out the big guns, right? You pull out those extra special treats or that extra special reward that is going to help your dog get over that hurdle. We definitely want to have these on hand, especially as we later on move outside with training your dog to come to you when you call them. So ultimately what we're going to do is call your dog, call their name, and as soon as they look at you, as they start coming towards you, you're going to reward, you're going to praise. And over time, your dog is going to come further and further and closer and closer to you. And we want to continue to reward. And if we need to pull out those super duper extra high value rewards, then we definitely do that. Maybe you alternate rewards, alternate praise, alternate play, alternate treats. Anything your dog will allow you to reward with, anything your dog is going to say, yes, I love that reward, let's keep doing this, use it and alternate them. And in doing this, you are becoming high value in their environment. You are becoming the most interesting thing in their environment. So what we're going to do after we start working around our home with our dogs to pay attention to us, to come to us when we call them, we're going to start working our way outside. And this is where the long line comes in. So when we move from inside to outside, this is where the long line is going to come into play. And I've talked previously in the beginner dog training series about managing your dog's environment, especially when I was talking about that puppy phase and doing all the potty training and stuff that you, you have to go through with a puppy. We talked about managing envi the environment. So when you go outside, it is much more difficult to manage the environment. So what we do in this instance is use a long line. And I will put a link in the description below to one on Amazon. They are incredibly inexpensive and worth their weight in gold because all it is is a leash, but it's an extended leash. You can get them in 30 feet and 50 feet. What we are doing is ensuring that our dog cannot get too far away from us, but allowing them to, the freedom to get far enough away from us. And, and you can of course control how much of the long line that you give out at any one time. And we want to start in smaller increments and, and work our way up to letting our dog get further and further away from us. But this is how we are going to manage how far away they can actually get from us while having that security of still keeping them on lead, on leash, so that they can't completely get away from us and continue to work, calling their name, having them come to you, giving them a little bit more distance, calling their name, having them come to you, rewarding as soon as they look at you, as soon as they start coming towards you start rewarding again and eventually you'll be able to get to the point where you're just rewarding when they actually come all the way over to you and then you can start of course over time you can start alternating rewards and varying how often you're rewarding and let me tell you this i know i have said this before in this series and i've probably said it many other times but praise is free so hand it out 
freely. We can praise our dogs as much as necessary, as much as we want to. It is free. Why not give it out, right? So use praise a lot, especially in training, especially when you find your dog, like you're just going about your daily routine and your dog is doing something you're happy about. Maybe they, you know, you've got stuff going on and you're going from room to room and they are just calmly lying there in their bed. They're not following you around and not getting under your feet and you're happy about that. Reward it, right? And I know that's getting a little off topic, but I really want to, um, emphasize how far praise and rewards really do go with your dog and you you really can't give them out too much give them out freely because it's what is it going to hurt right it is only going to make the situation better for you and your dog so go ahead and praise and reward your dog and it doesn't always have to be with a food reward you can use your hand to pet them you can vocalize you can verbalize what you know that you're proud that you're happy let your dog know that smile your dog can see that so that's really the basis for getting your dog to learn to come to you when called and I, like i said it's a lot to go into in this one youtube video which is why i have linked in the description below the um the link to my recall course. All right, guys, we are definitely progressing. We are going to be nearing the end of the beginner dog training series here very soon. And I would really love to know what drew you to the beginner dog training series. Let me know about you. Let me know about your dog. Did you just adopt a dog? Or maybe you've had your dog for a while and you've realized that you really need to buckle down and start training with your dog. Let me know in the comments below. Let me know what kind of dog you have, their name. I'd love to hear all about you and your dog. And a really great way to do that is by joining the group. There is a link in the description below. Join the group, join the family. There are thousands of other pet parents in this group. We are all waiting for you to join so that we can welcome you to the family. You and your dog, share the wins. Let me know what you're working on. Let me know what you need help with. That's what the group is there for. Thank you so much for being here with me today. I really appreciate each and every one of you. And if you haven't already, make sure you hit that red subscribe button. When you do, a bell will appear. Click the bell, select all notifications. That way YouTube can notify you every time I post a new video. I cannot wait to see you in our next video. Hey, thanks for watching. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you never miss another video.